in this video, I'm going to show you how to manage which apps your iPhone will use automatically for sending emails, browsing the web, and more on iOS. So let's get started. With iOS 18, Apple is finally allowing support for default applications. With iOS 18, Apple also allowed to delete native applications that you might not be using. So if you're not using Safari or any other built-in applications, you do have the option to delete those applications. Now with iOS 18, Apple's also allowing you to manage default applications for some of the standard apps like email, messaging, calls, and so on. And I want to show you exactly how you can manage that on your iPhone. Now to customize the default app, it's actually fairly easy. You want to go into settings, scroll all the way down to you see the apps section. Once you tap on that at the very top, there's going to be a section called default apps. And inside here is where you're going to be managing all the default apps on your iPhone. In here, you're going to see some of the options where you can customize which apps are going to be for what. The first one we have here is email. So once you go into that section, you have the option to choose what the default application is going to be. I know there are some people that like to use Outlook or Gmail because you just instantly get the messages or the mails in the mail app compared to the stock iOS mail. So that's a little customizability that you have over there. In the messages, you can choose between different messages applications. I didn't really see Messenger, WhatsApp or anything come up in there. So maybe when they add support, that will be there. There's also the default calling app, which is right now, it just says phone or FaceTime. So if you want to do FaceTime over phone calls, you have the option to do so. There's also a call filtering option. Um, so you can call filter based on different applications. And below that, you're going to have the browser app. So if you want to use Chrome or Firefox instead of Safari, you'll have the option to do so. And below that, you're going to have the password and codes. I personally use the Apple Passwords application, so that's my main method for entering codes in. But you can also use your Chrome Keychain um, Authenticator application or any other Authenticator applications that you have. You can select up to three passwords, and then when you want to set up the codes, you can only choose whichever client you want it to be. So I currently have it set up as a passwords, but you can customize that how you find fit. Next, we have the contactless app. So this is where you can customize what digital wallet you want to use. I probably primarily use the wallet application so it's there but if Google releases their own wallet application you'll have the customization to have that enabled or Samsung Pay or whatever is going to be approved in the App Store and finally we have the keyboards which is just simple if you want to have a different keyboard you can set that up now I feel like Apple is going to be expanding on this section for maps in the near future I'm hearing rumors about iOS 18.4 you can customize which is going to be your default maps application so if you want to use Google Maps you'll have the option to do so and there's also going to be an option for Translate. So if you don't want to use Apple's built-in Translate, you can use Google Translate as a default application. So I can see this section being updated in future updates. But if you just want to see how you can customize your default applications, that's exactly how you do it on iOS. And it is quite simple. And that's about it for this video. If you guys did find this useful, make sure to give this video a big thumbs up. Subscribe down below and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.